Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, training session on statistical data analysis using SPSS. My name is uh, Vamsidhar and as a part of this uh, session I would be uh, covering through the analysis of covariance. What is this analysis of covariance? We have already uh, looked at analysis of variance, one factor as well as two factors in our earlier models where our intention was comparison of the means across the multiple uh, groups of data uh, where the groups are formed either based on one factor in case of one way ANOVA or the groups are formed on two factors which is a two factor ANOVA. Here this uh, uh, ANCOVA model is a slight extension to a one way ANOVA model. It actually blends ANOVA as well as regression. Why we are talking about that is it actually evaluates about the population means itself. The means of a variable. So means of a variable the same thing we have done in ANOVA analysis also. I am comparing the means of a variable across one categorical variable. Until here it is one way, one way ANOVA across one categorical variable. Here what we are saying is we are statistically controlling the effect of other continuous variables. So probably uh, some other scale variables assuming the other scale variables are constant. So here it is like assuming other scale variables are constant across the various values of the factors. This is the most important thing as a part of the ANCOVA analysis. So what does, uh, just uh, let's take up our case question. Check for the uniformity in the cholesterol levels across the various smoking statuses. If I look at question only up to here, this is nothing but it is your one way ANOVA analysis. But see uh, the cholesterol levels could be different across various uh, smoking statuses because the weights are different across the various smoking statuses. If that is the case, then probably the cholesterol levels are not uh, based on the smoking status but because they are based on the weight. So what we are doing as a part of this uh, uh, ANCOVA analysis is assuming that the distribution of the weights is more or less uniform across the various smoking statuses, what is the uniformity in the means of the cholesterol levels? If I look at it in isolation, I don't know whether the impact is uh, impact in the changes in the cholesterol levels is because of a smoking status or is it because of weight. So that is where what we are saying is we are trying to compare the means of the cholesterol levels across the various smoking statuses controlling for the differences in case of weights. So here this is the important uh, aspect coming up. The most important thing before we execute the ANCOVA analysis is there should not be any kind of a significant interaction, interaction effect existing between the covariate and the factor. No significant interaction effect between the covariate and the factor. That is one thing I have to be comfortable with. So that I have to check out. Right uh, now we will uh, look at our data, we will try to model this uh, requirement checking for the uniformity in the cholesterol levels across the various uh, smoking statuses controlling for the change in the weights. Let us go back to our data for that. Right now in this data I will go with analyze again general linear model univariate I go with a general linear model univariate.
I go to the general linear model uh, univariate. I'll do a reset here. Here I want to uh, look out for the cholesterol level, so I'll take it uh, as a dependent uh, variable. But uh, for me, I need it. Uh, I need the fixed factor, which is uh, the smoking status. I want to look at the cholesterol level across. The, I want to compare the mean cholesterol levels across the various uh, smoking statuses but controlled based on the covariate. The controlling on the covariate is I will control it by the weight. So here, as I said, the first important thing as a part of this is I should make sure that there is no significant interaction between the covariate and the factor. So, whenever uh, there should not be any kind of a significant uh, interaction between the covariate to test whether there is a significant interaction between the covariate and the factor, I'll go for the model, I'll create a custom model, initially talking about uh, the interaction existing between the covariate and the factor. So, initially I will select as a part of my model building, I'll select these two things as main effects and also an interaction between the two also I will select and see what is the kind of an impact it is having as a part of the interaction between the two. So apart from the main effects where the two are taken I also look at uh, the interaction between the smoker stat and the weight and uh, I would only check out for the estimate of the effect size because I just want to see if the size is more or less uh, uh, minimal close to zero then I can say that there is no interaction effect and I can very well go forward using the ANCOVA analysis. So that's where I quickly uh, check out uh, only for this uh, number to move further and uh, probably I'll uh, run this analysis. So as a summary, it is giving me that there are 133 non-smokers, 179 occasional and one are an 88 heavy smokers in the data. The only thing I would be bothered here is the interaction between the smoker status and the weight. Check out for uh, before uh, looking at the entire model and all right now. I will only look out for the interaction that is existing between the smoker state as well as the weight what you could uh, see is the significance is 0.293 right so we are uh, we have uh, started by fitting a model with an interaction term in our model we have used uh, the two independent factors as main effects and also the interaction between the two as an interaction effect and we have built the model in that we have observed the estimates of the size checked out for the significance of the interaction term it is point in this case we got 0 0.293 which is greater than 0 0.05 which means the interaction term is not so important or else you could even look out for the partial eta squared it's almost zero partial eta squared is almost zero again indicating that the interaction factor is not so important which means the weights are more or less homogeneous across the various smoking statuses. So probably the first conclusion that is coming out is the weights are more or less homogeneous across the smoking statuses right so we don't need to so we can very well uh, go forward using the ANCOVA analysis to see if at all the weights are made uniform if at all the weights are made uh, uniform across uh, the various smoking statuses what is the impact of or what is uh, the comparison of the mean cholesterol levels across the various smoking statuses. So for that, I could uh, very well uh, go back. Right now, I don't need the interaction term anymore. So 
so that's where again i am going back into the same model in the model i will remove the interaction effect or probably you can talk about as full factorial model means use all factors together no interactions and anything use the full factorial uh, model and continue wherein probably you can even uh, this time look out for the remaining things also and whenever we are doing ancova analysis another additional thing apart from the two way anova analysis i would also suggest going for parameter estimate because uh, this will give us an indication of by how much extent is the cholesterol levels uh, more for different groups for different groups of data but what is the contribution of both uh, factors in uh, covariate as well as uh, the factor variable on the cholesterol levels so for that i'll get it as a parameter estimate it is more like a, a regression process so for that i will uh, check for the parameter estimate also and then i am doing a continue and finally i uh, am waiting for the result so this time you see the base descriptive statistics the base descriptive statistics talking about yes the mean cholesterol levels are increasing with the smoking status and uh, even the standard deviations also there is a good deviation it is also increasing uh, with the smoking uh, status so first thing i would like to see whether the variances are significant or more or less uniform for that we can we should look out for the levens test the levens test is showing a significance level of 0.0 0.000 right which is much less than 0.05 so in the levens test i am able to see that the significance level is less than 0.05 so i can very well say across the three groups the variances are more or less unequal but at the same time i don't want to make a, a big uh, comment on the uniformity of the variances because there are hardly three values the number of values are much much uh, lesser only three cells defined by the combinations of the factor levels only three cells are existing so probably i don't want to be that conclusive on the uniformity of the variances even if you look at the spread plot because only three values are there it is uh, looking as if as the mean level is increasing the variance is also increasing but only three observation so may or may not uh, talk too much uh, on the uniformity uh, or uh, non uniformity of the variances so that's where uh, by default i would assume that the variances are more or less uh, homogeneous because i cannot uh, with just with three observations i cannot say that as the mean is increasing the variances are increasing or uh, the vice versa so i don't want to uh, go too much uh, into uh, a conclusion that the variances are much uh, different but the most important thing uh, for me to look out for is the test between the subjects okay except for the intercept weight and smoking status both of them i am seeing that the significance levels are less than 0.05 right so we are more interested in the smoking status what we are seeing is uh, the smoking status the significance level is less than 0.05 which means this has a very significant impact on the cholesterol level so i could conclude the smoking status smoking status has a significant impact on the cholesterol levels this is something that is uh, coming out for us right but to understand what is the size of that impact i should look out for the parameter estimate to find out what is the size of the impact 
I should look out uh, for the parameter estimate. So this is what is the parameter estimate saying. The smoking, the P values, right? The smoking status equal to zero. It is giving me a coefficient of minus 270. And smoking status equal to one. It is giving me a coefficient of minus 209. And smoking status equal to two. It is giving me a value of zero. And you see that all these are significant, which is an indicator that uh, the smoking uh, status has a significant uh, impact. Even after I remove the impact of the weight, the smoking status has a significant impact. What it means is, if at all I find two people with the same weight, this is how we should interpret it. If, if at all we find two people with the same weight, One of them being a, a heavy smoker, the other one being a, 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 an occasional smoker. What we would see is the occasional smoker would have uh, on an average the cholesterol levels uh, down by 209 units compared to an equal weight heavy smoker. Similarly, if he is a non-smoker, he will have uh, a cholesterol down by some 270 units compared to the equal weight heavy smoker. That is how we uh, conclude uh, uh, as a part of uh, using the ANCOVA analysis. And in case, in this case, anyhow, we have uh, found that the interaction term was not significant. However, if we had found that the interaction term was significant, this entire thing we would do by taking the interaction effect also into consideration. Though it will not be that effective, but we may have to go ahead uh, considering the interaction term also as a part of our analysis. So, in, in, in simple uh, essence, the ANCOVA analysis is uh, helping us to understand, the ANCOVA analysis is helping us to understand uh, the uniformity or compare the uniformity uh, of the means across the various uh, groups of uh, categorical uh, variable by controlling uh, the effects of uh, one or more scale variables and uh, which helps us to say whether the means are uniform across the groups of the categorical variable. I hope uh, you are clear on uh, the business usage of uh, ANCOVA and how you interpret uh, the analysis, SPSS uh, output that comes out of the ANCOVA analysis. If you have any further uh, queries uh, regarding the same, you can feel free to get back to me by giving me a call on the number that I have given below or you can even send in an email at vamsidhar at facegurus.com. Thanks a lot uh, for listening uh, to this uh, session. Thank you very much.